chairwoman. She got the moon in her eyes. Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G. I am very, very aware of how ridiculous my hair looks and the fact that I've put quite a bit of makeup on today, but you know what? Thanks to Halloween, I'm dealing with some hair issues from stuff I put in my hair and some leftover pimple issues from all of the Halloween makeup. So I am just gonna be wearing this for this video and for the next one. So you know what? Get used to it. video where I just talk. Speaking of Halloween, which I absolutely love, I finally got redemption. Finally got redemption. I did a Halloween costume competition and if I'm thinking about it when I'm editing, I'll show you a picture, but I went as Beetlejuice because my Halloween costume this year was Sally and it was cold outside so I had to last minute switch my costume to something else and I was able to do Beetlejuice mostly with stuff that I had. So a quick trip to Target where I could not find Oh my god, shut up phone. Where I could not find the hair color that I needed and then I had to go to Walgreens and I found it, but oh my god, my poor hair because I just needed green hair coloring and white, white cream face paint because all of my white was gone. So I did it and there was a costume competition there and I won, tied for first officially. But you know what? Winner, winner, I am so proud of myself and they were like, 20 people in this competition, so, you know, go me. Did y'all get one of these? Yes, I am the crazy person who went to Starbucks, not sponsored, at an early ass time in the morning to get me one of these holiday mugs on the one day that they're free. And I don't understand when you order something that's this size, why they don't just put it in this when they give you this, but you know, oh well. I, I did not go at 5 a.m. when they opened. I thought about going at 5 a.m. when they opened, but I decided I was just gonna wait until I was on my way to work and they happened to still have them. So I am lucky enough to get one of the ones this year. And I know some people get absolutely crazy about this, so if you're absolutely crazy about these and you didn't get one, sorry, you can't have mine. While I'm showing you things, let's go back to Halloween stuff and look at the cutest rubber duckies in the history of the whole friggin' world. This is Duckula. And then there's, there's one that's a dragon, and then there's a little baby one. These are adorable. I know it seems like a long way off, but Christmas is not that far of a way off, and oh my god, I'm starting to freak out, okay? If you also, if you haven't watched me for a while, I overcompensate and overcomplicate Christmas. It is what I do to cope. It is definitely a coping strategy. I am very, very aware of this, but at the same time, that means I have a lot of shit to plan and not a lot of time to do it in, and work is gonna get absolutely crazy in like the November, December time. I already kind of know that that's coming, and uh, there's, I just, there's so much to do. I have to decide how many cookies I'm making, what cookies I'm making, uh, which is a lot, because I make usually seven different types of cookies and I've made as many as 3,000 in a year. I don't know if I'm doing that or not. I have to figure out what people want for Christmas, what I'm getting people for Christmas. Am I doing a holiday card or not? And I am completely overwhelmed by all of it before I've even started, which is a great sign, which means I am of course going full speed ahead into this. I will run into the overwhelm and not away from it this time. The two things that I actually have done for Christmas already is one, I have signed up for the Reddit Secret Santa because I love the Reddit Secret Santa. And the other thing that I've done is I went onto my Amazon wish list and I went ahead and deleted everything that's no longer something that I want or, you know, things that I already have, got rid of all that. And then I added a bunch of crap to it so it's like, up to date. And then Amazon started advertising to me this one coffee pot that looks really freaking cool and it was like a hand pole coffee pot and it was awesome looking. And I go and I'm like, that's really cool. Maybe I can add this to my wish list. How much is it? $1,700. $1,700 for a freaking coffee pot. Like, listen, I understand some coffee pots are expensive, but $1,700 is not the price range that I live in, and I don't know who Amazon thinks I am that thinks that I can spend $1,700 on another way of making coffee. I thought about trying to get the Shane Dawson conspiracy palette this year because of like, honestly, like watching that documentary makes you want to buy the palette, but, uh, 
few things. One, I don't have a lot of extra money. Two, I didn't know exactly how much I would use it because there's some colors in there that would not be me that I would never touch so it was kind of like I'm not that adventurous with my makeup and then three it sold out so damn fast but I did I did I did want the pig hoodie with the little dead pig but that also sold out and I haven't bought it yet but I've decided this year I am buying myself another advent calendar I am not buying the wine oh one I had issues with that I think it's only really good if you don't like wine but I did find Two at World Market that I'm debating between. One is an Italian wine box that has 12 nights of wine, which sounds really nice. And the other one is a sparkling wine box that has 24 nights of wine. And the only reason I haven't bought one of the two is because when I went yesterday, the price wasn't showing for the the 24 day one and I can't make that type of a decision unless I know how much it costs. So I have to go back another time and, and see how much they cost and price it out that way and then maybe when I'm there I can actually find one of their little like hidden Christmas crackers to win some money off because I tried searching for it yesterday and I didn't find it but last year both my friend and I found a bell so we're gonna find these crackers let me tell you my fitness has really been failing recently but like look at that look that you can fit my finger in that divot oh my god look at that look Look at that! I'm so proud of me. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Yeah, I didn't really wind the video down at all. Welcome to Word Vomit. I'm just talking at ya.